Hello, my name's Jim Karnofsky. This is Ilwaco, Washington, and uh, we are excited to show you about this um, this propane conversion kit into a into a biochar making machine. Simply, this is a scrap piece of propane tank. Uh, a local welder cut the top off of it, put tabs on it, fits back on here, and makes a nice fire. Then I put a stack for the stack effect and uh, it's not rocket science but it really works well. I copied the design uh, to let air in on the bottom. There's four inch and a half holes on the bottom and there's six inch and a half holes on the top so uh, when I go to burn a fire in here and do the pyrolysis in this unit some air comes through the bottom and more air comes in the top and completely burns to a, a smokeless uh, gas you know so it's completely uh, combusted to co2 so there's no incompletely burned gases that are uh, coming out of this machine so you'll see um, uh, how well it makes charcoal now for your wood I'm uh, you always use the driest wood you can find and in this case I've got uh, wood scraps from the local mill not waste any space in this fire. I fill up all these excess spaces here with this 40 pound bag of pallets. And when when you uh, when you have a burn, it's kind of sacred time. Now here's the fancy part. We got to get inventive on these things. Kind of have a top. And uh, some inexpensive tape from the dollar store. Where we get it? This just keeps the stuff from falling out while you turn it over in that barrel. Because you're going to have this barrel upside down in that barrel. And this keeps the air out for the most part. So now what you've got here is a barrel full of wood upside down in the barrel. And um, now we get to build a fire. Are you going to help me, my trusty assistant? No doubt. No doubt. Okay. What we do is we do the old fashioned thing of um, the old Indian method of just uh, putting paper. Down in there. Is that what the Indians did? And that's what they the Indians did. Yeah, they, they use the Wall Street Journal. This isn't the Wall Street. So they knew what was appropriate to burn, apparently. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Now, this is the fun part. This is where we get the fire stick and make some fire. Out of this process, I'll be making about oh, 20 pounds of biochar, and uh, that biochar will last forever in the soil. And you'll see the difference in the draw it makes when you put on when you put on the uh, stack. They call it a stack effect. And so you got the smoldery fire, and now. This is far from perfect, but it, um, it will start drawing a lot of, if the fire is still going, it will start drawing a lot of air through that fire. Let's see. Coming out here. So there is a, a, lot of, a lot of burning going on in that very hot because this isn't insulated a lot of heat comes off this this whole thing and there may be um, you know for an improvement the improvement in the design you may have this insulated that way um, the burn can be more predictable right now I may have to come back 
and throw some extra wood on. If this wood fire doesn't last long enough, I may throw more wood on it and just make sure it lasts about three hours because I stuffed that barrel full of wood. I want to make sure it gets to uh, the heat temperature treatment um, enough into the center of that wood mass uh, to, um, to completely carbonize it. So, especially if I put in chicken bones or things like that, or extra roadkill. Warning, the next clip contains footage suitable only for big boys of biochar. So here's a 55 gallon barrel system with a, uh, this is a propane tank and it's cut up, uh, cut up by my local uh, steel manufacturers, a, uh, you know, just a sheet metal shop put it together. I uh, put a flat bottom on it. I have four holes on the bottom and six holes on the top. This will fill with wood. And then we tip this, put it in like this, then this flips up. You center it like that, fill it with wood around here, start a big old fire. Then after you start that fire, you you put this uh, this lid on it. And so the lid actually fits when this thing is all set together. And then once that fire is burning, the lid's on, perfect, that's the completed thing with flames coming out the top it's a uh, quite a burn and it makes 50 pounds of biochar in one burn and it takes about four or five hours for this this machine to work the insulation makes it more efficient so i only need to load the fire around there once to make it all hot 